guys and welcome back to my channel lesson 8 so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to find the square root of numbers ending in 25 so let's get started the first example we are going to look at is going to be 625 with this the first thing we are going to do is going to be find the square root of 25 in this case the square root of 25 is obviously 5 so write the 5 okay so once you have written the 5 now we have to find the factors of 6 so and the factors have to be consecutive so the factors of 6 are 1 and 6 2 and 3 so these are the factors of 6 so the only consecutive ones we can find here is 2 and 3 we have to find the smaller one out of the pair which is 2 so write the 2 in front of the 5 to give us an answer of 25 so that's the answer for 625 square root so now let's go on to our next example and well done for doing that question right and well done for coming all this way so now let's look at our next example so our next example is 30 and 25 with this we're going to do the same thing so find the square root of 25 which is going to be 5 and then we're going to find the factors of 30 factors of 30 are so 1 30 2 15 and then we have 6 and 5 so as you guys can see 6 and 5 are consecutive we have to choose the smaller one which is 5 so just write the 5 in front of the other 5 to give us um, an answer of 55 okay so again well done guys so now let's go on to our next example so our next example is going to be 1 2 2 5 this time we're going to do the same thing once again so again we're going to find this square root of 25 which is going to give us 5 so write the 5 then we're going to find factors of 12 that are consecutive, which is 4 and 3. Choose the 3, smaller one out of the pair, gives us 35. So I'll explain this question to you guys once again. So first we find the square root of 25, which gave us 5. And then we saw the continuous factors, so consecutive factors for 12, which are 4 and 3. We had to choose a smaller one out of the pair, wrote the 3, so we got an answer of so we got an answer of 35. Okay, so well done guys for doing this question step by step. Now we're going to move on to do these questions a bit faster. Okay, so now let's go on to our first question. So 5625 is the one that we're going to do first and we're going to do this faster now. So with this, again, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to write the 5. We don't have to in square root the 25. So write the 5 and then 7, 75 because 8 and 7 are the consecutive pair for 56. And we have to choose a smaller one out of the pair, which is 7. So write the 7. So we got 75. Okay, so now let's go on to our next example. So the next one we got here is 9025. With this, again, we're going to do the same thing, do it faster. So write the 5 straight away, and then 9 and 10, choose the right 9, and then write the 9, because 9 and 10 are the consecutive factor for 90, and 9 is the smaller one after the pair, so we wrote the 9, and then 25, square root of 25 is 5. And as you guys probably noticed in these questions, so numbers that end in 25, to find the square root of them, the number always ends in 5. So you can just write the 5 down straight away, not um, finding the square root of 25 in the first place. So just remember that in the first place. So if you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to see videos more like this one, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell notification so you don't miss any new uploads and i'll see you guys in my next video so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you want to see videos more like this one please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any new uploads and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching